The shorthanded Celtics had to make a roster move. They were able to get Truck, a wing playing for the Minneapolis Muskrats. This team has had their eye on Truck for a while, but this string of injuries forced them. We'll see how that goes for us, guys. We will indeed, DA. Thank you so much. And Clark, the Muskrats, one of the minor league pro teams in the States. Yeah, you know, from what I understand, Kevin, Truck was doing really well at that level. This could be his big opportunity. New group in for the Celtics. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Burke. Hart comes in for Truck. Danny Ainge has checked in for Wedman. And Buckner subbed in for Gerald Henderson. Boston leading by 14. Mike, you talk about the excitement in this crowd. This is a capacity crowd here tonight. 17,505 here in the Forum. It's been the hot ticket here in L.A. Laker fans know what the implications of this matchup mean. They've come out in full force. And it's the Celtics ball. Truck deciding where to go with it. Sinks the triple. Truck's got 27. Ooh. Nice splash from deep by Truck. He must have been feeling that one. Johnson with it. He's picked up by Truck. And they have a commanding lead coach right now. This is what it means to take over in a game. Total dominance. Well, Clark, we expected Magic to have a potential breakout game. So far, he's been solid. No surprise, Kevin. He's always going to be a factor when you talk about Magic Johnson. But with Truck defending him, I would have thought he would look for his own shot just a little bit more here. Here's Truck following the score by James Werther. Traps in the tray. He's looking to contribute. Truck has found ways to do so and is in a really nice flow offensively. Pass to Garrett. Pass to Wilkes. Here's Garrett. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Johnson can't get it to go. Austin leading by 16. Let's it fly. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on James Worthy. So difficult to guard without overcommitting. Bird recognizes how to get the whistle. And some changes here for the Lakers. Rambis is checked in for Worthy. And it's Scott in for Garrett. The Celtics also changing it up. Carr, he's checked in for Ainge. And it's Henderson for Buckner. And Clark Casey Jones, the coach for the Celtics, has done a terrific job in his first year. Well, Kevin, his love and loyalty for this team goes without question. All the years he had as an outstanding player, and this organization believes in him. He's been a really good fit for the Celtics so far. And these calls are not easy for the refs to make. Things happen so fast in real time. These refs do their best to get these calls right. Here's Wilkes. Scoreless thus far. And the baseline jumper, no good. Well, Mike, they've been rivals for many, many years. Bird against Magic. What do you see in so far? Neither has jumped ahead of the other so far. But as the game goes on, both will start looking for their own number. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And a nice play by Scott. Outstanding in the secondary playmaker role. And this year's draft class, Mike, it's shaping up to be a good one. There are a few players that could alter the future of teams. Elijah Warren and Jordan seem like can't miss prospects, but there are a lot of great kids coming out this year. Johnson against Truck. Hook shot. Henderson pulls it in. Austin leading by 18. Outside, Truck. Shoots it up. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Truck's got eight here in the quarter. So consistent from the field. A quality outing for him. Timeout called the Lakers. And the Lakers. 
changes with some changes. Abdul Jabbar comes in for McAdoo, and it's Cooper in for Johnson. And then for Boston. Parrish is checked in for Bird. Redmond comes. in for Los Angeles. Trucks checked in for Boston. Warren comes in for Ainge. You know, we've seen so many great battles between Bird and Magic. Something special typically happens when these two meet. Rivals in college and now rivals in the NBA. They always seem to be getting in each other's way. Scott the pass to Johnson. And he drives in. Yep, that one goes. Johnson's got seven points. Outstanding speed at his position. Magic blows past the defender through the lane that time. For three. Track. Knocks down the three ball. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Lakers trail by 15. Johnson the pass to Cooper. Back to Johnson. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first half. Basket counts. The energy Magic brings to his offensive game is undeniable. His passion and joy in playing, palpable. No way for the defender to keep up with him there. And it's Truck missing. Johnson against Truck. Lambas with a screen on Truck. With four seconds on the clock, Johnson's shot is off. And so it's Truck making things happen for Boston. He's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. We've got more in store for you right after this. Welcome back, everyone. The second half getting going. Lakers and Celtics here in beautiful L.A. Here's Henderson. He has yet to score. And with Truck on the floor again, Mike, it seems the Celtics will be matching his minutes with Magic's. That's why they signed him. Boston feels he is the right man to bother Magic with his strength. Makes sense they would match minutes. And this demonstrates how poised Paris is. Excellent at staying in control and being guarded closely. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. It's Scott on the wing. There's a good screen. Bird pulls it in. And so Bird will bring it up for Boston. They led the game at one point by 20. Connects from three point range. And what a clever pass of Bird is. Some of the dimes he drops are just out of this world. Lakers trail by 18. Here's Johnson. Larry Bird grabs the miss. Bird's got four rebounds now tonight. Redman the pass to Lawrence. The tray. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And Clark the Celtics leaning on a lot of outside shots in this one. And as you know, that's not really their game. It really isn't. It, because they've got so many weapons inside, they usually pound it in down low. But with Kareem, Lurk, they're trying to get it done outside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Parrish has got four this quarter. The long arms of Parrish, using that incredible length to do damage on the offensive glass. That one goes in. You know, with only two points in their last meeting, you just knew Cooper would come out looking to perform better, and he has. For three, track. The Lakers with the rebound. Abdul Jabbar's got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, Kareem only had three rebounds in their last game against Boston. You knew he'd grab more than that in this one. I tell you what, the peripheral vision, the court awareness of Johnson, this guy always knows when one of his teammates is open. Back to Anderson. Bird kicks to Anderson. Parrish with the screen on Cooper. Five on the clock. Here's Henderson. Drops in the layup for two. Henderson's got his first two points. Well, both of these teams have been terrific so far this season. 
This could be a preview of this year's finals. Yeah, I agree with you, Mike. The Lakers would love a return trip. I mean, with both teams atop their conferences, this game does have some extra juice to it. Now the pass to Wedman. Celtics passing it around. Pass to Bird. Trunk in the corner. Let's the three fly. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Bird's got his fourth assist in this one. Lakers trail by 19. Feeds it to Abdul Jabbar. Here's Rambis. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Outside, Truck fires from deep. The Lakers with the rebound. Abdul Jabbar's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Scott. The 17 footer goes down. Scott's got four this quarter. What speed from Scott. Pulling up right off the dribble for a quick shot. This is it to Wedman. And here's Truck from the arc. Good on the three point shot. And the Celtics lead by 20. The number of the second half, three. They are drilling shots. And that starts with ball movement. Putting your shooters in good positions. Timeout called the Lakers. Some changes for Boston. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Bird. Hart comes in for Truck. And in for Wedman. The Lakers making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Austin also with the sub. Truck's checked in. Even though he's coming off the bench in this one, Mike, what a year it's been for Jamal Wilkes. He's looked very comfortable all season long. Found his role and has played it perfectly. Great scoring threat for this team. Here's Wilkes. Henderson defending. Johnson, the pass to Worthy. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Excellent D there from Parrish. Austin leading by 18. For three. Truck. It doesn't go for him. Here's Los Angeles now. Here's Wilkes. It's all in by Truck. For the three. Wilkes with the rebound. Wilkes has got four rebounds in this game. There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Wilkes has gone two for five, shooting 40% for the field here. Johnson against Truck. Boston again missing. Four seconds left, and he dunks it down. Graceful drive by Wilkes, just slipping through the defense's fingers into a shot. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Celtics out in front, up by 16. Celtics, 63. We have one more quarter of play left between the Lakers and the Celtics. Our coverage continues here in the fourth quarter. Lakers trail by 16. And Mike, in the second half here, you wonder how big a factor the short benches will play in this one. Both teams are missing some rotation players due to injury. The starters might get a little more tired early on. McAdoo misses. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Up near the pass to Lawrence. He kicks it to Ainge. Here's McHale. Rebound the Lakers. Pass to Wilkes. And here's Worthy. And it's Bird with the rebound. Bird's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now, here is Ainge. Defense right on him for three. Truck buries it from three-point range. Truck's got 47 points. 
Good for about one per game. Ains finds his open man easily there. And the Celtics have one more game on their road trip, Clark. They'll travel to Phoenix after this game here. Caps off a successful six-game road trip for them, Kevin. They started really hot winning their first three games on this West Coast trip. Here's Johnson. And the Lakers with another miss. And so Bird will bring it up for Boston. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. For three, and Truck with the basket on the assist by Ainge. Truck's got 15 points in just the second half. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. And the Lakers call time here. Well, you have to like what we're seeing from Truck in this one. They need to use this timeout to evaluate how they can slow him down. You are. Austin making some changes. Robert Parrish has checked in for McHale. Redmond comes in for Ainge. And Henderson subbed in for Buckner. Here's Abdul Jabbar on the wing, Scott. Let's a floater go. And that comes off the assist by Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, you have to be surprised at the way Truck is played tonight, Mike. He looks like he belongs. Credit to the Celtic scouts. They saw his talent and picked him up when they needed him most. Great showing from him. Nice work on the offensive boards. Yeah, just getting the touch just right for that tip and well timed. Fantastic play. Yeah, it's easier said than done, but he did make it look effortless out there. Henderson finds Truck, and the jam by Truck. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah, Henderson, Henderson can be an effective dime dropper, like when a guy is that open. There's the pass to Rambus. Johnson down low, Henderson defending. Down to five on the shot clock. The 17 footer. That one rolling around and rims out. Celtics on offense. They've gone on a 10 2 run, not allowing much. Lawrence. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Some light work from Trump, knocking it down. Clark, how about the unselfishness of this team? Love the willingness to make that extra pass, and it has the defense in a scramble mode. Pass to Scott. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Here's the basket for Boston. And Truck hitting pay dirt. He never stops working. Mike, nothing is working for him right now. Nope. Nope, nope. Some points would really help them. Scott a screen. Johnson, that's for two. The rebound by the Celtics. Well, that's another low percentage shot. He's been settling throughout this game for those kinds of shots. For three. Truck nailed from three-point land. Truck's got 59 points. We've got 113 left in the fourth. Johnson surveying the floor. Passes to Cooper. Abdul Jabbar in the post. Parrish is there. The shot by Abdul Jabbar, no good. Outside, Truck. With the putback. And there's Bird putting it right back in. Willing to fight for those loose balls. Bird is a winner. The feed to Abdul-Jabbar. Over Parrish. The shot by Abdul-Jabbar, no good. And a bit of a shooting slump here. I mean, he can't seem to get anything going. As a coach, this is when you want to draw up something that gets him an easy look at the rim, or at least a chance to go to the line. Not coasting the victory. They're running through the tape. Run through that finish line. That's how you do it. Keep it going through the checkered flag. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. 
Here's Johnson. High quality look, and he sinks it. Nice execution by Magic. I like how he focuses on taking high percentage shots. And Mike, they can just hold on to the ball here. No question, they deserve to win. Pass to Rambis. Johnson outside. Clock goes to zero, and this one is over. And in the books, Mike the Celtics were able to get a road win here in L.A. from some unlikely help. Well, the world will be talking about Trump tomorrow. He did a fantastic job in slowing down Magic. Yeah, Mike, he was great. The Lakers must feel blindsided by Truck's contributions. Clark, he was something else. I'll tell you what, partner, the Celtics don't win this game without Truck. The defense he played was terrific and really helped Boston play with a lot of effort at that end. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.